Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about this article from Electric. So, let's start. get started. So it goes, Tesla starts offering LFP battery retrofits for earlier Model 3 under warranty. So if you have a Model 3 and it, if it is under warranty with the batteries, Tesla now is going to replace it uh, with a new battery type called LFP. So if we know with the LFP, uh, all of the new Tesla Model 3 will come with LFP battery. All right, so, but then again, you have to be under warranty. So here, most of, most, uh, Model 3 has been in production for seven years now, and it has evolved quite a bit in the last few years. Most of them are now made with a new battery pack using LRP cells. It's a technology different from, from Tesla nickel-based chemistry, which is uh, still in use today in its most high-end trims. LFP chemistry is less energy dense than nickel based NCA and NCM chemistry, but it is cheaper and offers other advantages like less degradation if often charged at 100%. The cheaper price has made it very popular for entry level EVs, and the chemistry is now in most of the Tesla Model 3 vehicles. Several Tesla owners are now reporting that Tesla is offering them a LFP battery pack instead of the getting a new battery replacement under warranty. It appears to be primarily due to Tesla not having enough parts for the old battery pack with nickel-based cells and similar energy capacity. Therefore, it makes for them to start offering the new, newer pack. However, the LFP pack is heavier and Tesla owners have to agree for the automaker to also upgrade the suspension, which is good. And here, I'm going to click on this um, so you can see it. We can read it together. So this is from Tesla Service Center. Tesla is offering you the option to replace your high voltage battery with our most recent battery technology for standard range Model 3 vehicles, referred to as the LFP, lithium ion phosphate battery. It is the high voltage battery technology we are currently using our new standard Model 3 we are selling today. The advantages of, this, of our current standard range LFP high voltage batteries are, number one, more range, Recommended to charge to 100% daily compared to 80%. Optimized energy capacity retention over time, even when charging to 100% every day. The LFP battery is heavier, which may increase to the 0 to 60 acceleration time by around 0.5 seconds. The vehicle dynamics will stay optimal as Tesla service will upgrade your springs and dampers along with the four wheel alignment. In order to do so, you gotta put I, your your name allowed Tesla to do data and sign it. So, all right, so I think that is good because, as, as a fact, you know you're getting a newer technology in your older car. So I, if it happened to me, I'll be I'll be more than happy to sign that thing. All right, so this is electric take right here. So Tesla batteries have extremely good longevity as far as we can tell so far. However, issues can still arise and battery replacement are not entirely uncommon, especially now that some Tesla vehicles are getting older and accumulating a lot of mileage. I've owned two Tesla vehicles that had battery replacement, but those were on a 2012 Model S after almost eight years and over 120,000 kilometers or 75,000 miles, and Model X after 510 kilometers or 300 120,000 miles. Both were under warranty, like you mean. I would assume that Tesla will also eventually start offering this LFP battery replacement also off warranty as the supply of the old uh, pack becomes limited. It will be interesting to learn about their price at that point. So so hopefully as the technology getting better and better, the battery uh, replacement price will go down, but this is for anybody that is still under warranty. You might want to check your um, battery, so hopefully uh, it is still under the warranty, so you can get a new battery replacement. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video, uh, for this article, and for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comment. Other than that, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.